Hello and welcome everybody, this is Bezo here, and I'm bringing you guys a for After Effects uh, quick Twixter tutorial, not really a tutorial, it's a quick tip, little tip to um, help you extend the life of your clips and not run into that barrier at the end, you know, if you didn't record long enough, like I did accidentally, so I don't have to go in, turn my Xbox on, go record the clip, do, you know, the long process so I can, this will help increase your workflow and uh, therefore increasing your your clip speed making your montage making all that good shit um, so as you can see here with the, the style of the clip I'm doing uh, there's no HUD there's no hit markers so I don't need pretty much I'm going the zoom in I'm gonna cut out to some cinematics of the kill happening as you can see there cuts out kill happens bam 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 and then it cuts back to zooming out so you know that the kill happened but um, it kind of cuts out the dead space and adds potential for some more professional looking cinematics. So here we are. Coming is a triple headshot feed. So we've got we got two headshots that happened. Here we come on the last one. And uh, silly me, when it came to the is this it without HUD? Yep. Um, whenever it came to the last one, I just did not give it time to fully mature. Look at this. We're already. So there it is. There's the zoom out and we have like no space to twixter um, I want it to go through like oh, let me figure out there's a couple more beats that I wanted to twixter through and I just don't have the space here and you, you see you can't you can't drag it out so we're gonna we're gonna fix that uh, how we're gonna do this is we're gonna it's gonna use its own clip uh, its own version of the clip we pre-composed it here it is um, as you can see we got the same clip here at the very end is whenever the last one happens there's not a lot of time to work with so what we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and put Twixter onto it um, and then you know do your do your settings how you normally would and then here whenever you usually you would just keyframe the speed right now go ahead and crank it up to like 300 that's what I'm doing here for this tutorial I've done this four times I had a hot key set to mute my mic so and anyways so now you can see it moving real fast and let's find okay right here's a good spot we're gonna we're gonna keyframe at 300 right there go forward one frame bam normal speed so what that did all this before clip is at 300 we're not this isn't gonna be used all we need is the the zoom out here at the end so we just quickly scrambled past this and now we have over two-thirds of the clip to use for twix string the final clip and it's and it plays at normal speed so hooray for us right <laughs> so yeah there there it is and show you that it's in normal speed nothing wrong there and then the rest of this is just blank space that we can use for twix string because when you slow it down it'll extend the clip out and now we'll bring this into our main comp do with what do it do with it what we will and we have tons of work area to do it so I hope this increases your workflow I hope this helps you be a better editor altogether if you enjoyed leave a like comment below any other tips and any other tips for me uh, to get better at, at editing and uh, tutorials I've never done tutorial first tutorial ever so high five for Bezo right go subscribe to my main channel absolute Bezo first link in the description annotation on screen also go subscribe or subscribe yeah go subscribe to my follow button on the freaking Twitter uh, I, I'm pretty active I tweet back everybody that tweets me um, so yeah go follow me there follow me on twitch uh, everything share everywhere um, I should be doing a Minecraft stream tonight so be ready for that <laughs> bye guys you know I love you I'm out bye